Hey, third grade. So one skill to really practice over the summer is to count money. And this could be whether you're helping your parents plan their grocery bill or you're saving for that toy you really want or you're planning on buying a new school outfit when we come back in the fall. So counting coins and money is a really useful skill that you're always going to need. So let's go, let's dive right in. So first of all, I wanna look at our place value chart. In third grade, we learn from ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, but when we're dealing with money and coins, their value is so tiny that we need to make place values lower than ones. So what we have in our place value chart are, is a space called a decimal. And this is a dot that separates, I have less than one, but more than zero, it sounds like a fraction. So decimals and fractions are the same thing. They're parts of something. So when I'm talking about money, what represents one whole? A dollar. This one dollar represents one one. But we can have money that's less than a dollar, such as pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters. So when I'm counting money, I have my ones place, I have my write my decimal, and then I write tenths and hundredths. And where I get these a hundredths, I think, hmm, what coin, if I had a hundred of them, would equal a dollar? A hundred pennies equal one dollar. So that's the same as a penny equaling one out of a hundred. So that's why we say hundredths. It's one hundredth is one penny. And tenths comes from 10 dimes equaling a dollar. If I broke up the dollar into a fraction to, to equal a dime, that would be one tenth because 10 dimes equal one dollar, 10 tenths. So one dime is one tenth, and that's where we get tenths. So let's now start counting money. So here I have my money chart, and it's going to help me figure out how much each coin is worth. And if you notice, I lined up these decimal places to help me count these coins. So if I start with my largest coin, a quarter, how many quarters do you see? One, that's worth 25 cents, which is two tenths and five hundredths, 25 cents. And if I can next, I count my dimes, they're worth 10 cents. How many dimes do you see? I see two, 10, 20, that's 20 cents. So zero dollars and 20 cents. Now I'm going to add my next highest coin, my nickels. How many nickels do you see? One, two nickels, five, 10. That's 10 cents, zero dollars and 10 cents. And pennies, I have one cent. So that's zero dollars, there's not a 10, one cent. So now I add my money, same way I would add any other number. I start with my lowest place value. So in this case, I'm gonna start in my hundredths. Five plus one is six. Two plus two is four plus one is five. And there are no ones, so I have a total of 56 cents. So that's zero decimal five six. So what you're going to do on the next slides, you're going to count the money 
that you see. Always feel free to reference the chart in the beginning of the slideshow to tell you how much each coin is worth. And remember, when you're adding your money to use your decimal places, and your decimals as a guide.